welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited because today we're doing one of our favorite things in the whole world, and that is live swatching. These have been so highly requested for our live swatching video, so I'm so excited to finally get this in. This is the ColourPop Holiday 2015 collection. As you can see, there are three different sets, and how cute are their packages. I don't have prices just yet, but as soon as they're available, I will be updating you in the bottom box down below, but of course on Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter, like I always do. But before we get into swatches, I'll just give you a quick look. So this is the first set here. It is called Fancy. This is the cream gel color collection. It has a great little mirror in it. And then you have three gel pot liners and three pencil liners. The next one is this gold one. And this is the Blitzed collection. It's the Super Shock Shadow collection. And these shadows, oh my god, there are six and they are new. And there's one that I'm absolutely totally obsessed with because it's called That Girl. Ah! Not after me or anything, but I'm just super excited that it says That Girl. Like that girl, is that girl Shay like that girl? Is that girl Shay like that girl? Is that girl Shay, it's that girl Shay. Don't tell me you don't have your own theme song. And then the last one is called Vixen, and this is the Lippy Sticks collection. Ugh. Definitely trying this one on first, y'all. And this has a bunch of new amazing Lippy Sticks, of course. And I can't wait any longer, so let's get into it. We're first going to start off with the Vixen collection. Like I said, I just cannot wait to do lips. And here are all the shades of the Lippy Sticks. I'm so excited. The first Lippy Sticks is called Last Call, and this is in the cream formula. And the shade again is called Last Call. It's so beautiful, very wearable. It um, It's pink without screaming too much pink. The next lippy stick shade is called Ruffle. Ooh, Ruffle is beautiful. This is like a perfect Thanksgiving color, which I don't know if I should say because I don't know if it'll be out by Thanksgiving, but it's, you know what I mean? It's like a really nice November. It's just really appropriate for the season. It's a great nude. That doesn't make you feel too nude, you know what I'm saying? The next shade is called Night Owl, and it is a cream formula. This has such an amazing shine. Holy crap, I feel like I'm wearing like an amazing gloss and lipstick and liner and all that, but it's just a lippy stick. I am really impressed with the coverage of that lipstick, right? It really covered really nicely, even application, smooth. I feel just like Shea Barbie right now. I'm trying to imagine what she would look like, and for some reason I'm just making these hand signals, so. If you ever see my Barbie on the shelf, it'll be the one doing this. The next shade is called Jingle. This is such a beautiful red. It's it's not, I wouldn't say it's the most rare red in the world, not that it has to be, but it's a beautiful true red. And your lips just feel so juicy and holiday and succulent. <laughs> the next shade is number 54 and it is a pearlized formula. Okay, this is gonna be a favorite. This is gonna be a favorite. Holy crap, this is so gorgeous. And it's just, it's unlike any other berry tone that I have. Number 54, hmm. And I don't know if you guys can tell, there's a little sparkle in there somewhere. There's just a little, little bitty bit of sparkle. The next shade is called Plastics. Oh my gosh, this is absolutely fantastic. I love this purple. I love this purple. I just love these super duper rich colors. This is just such a 
deep, beautiful color with so much pigment. I just love it. And I love that ColourPop is encouraging us to rock those purple lips all the way through the holiday season. Woo! All right, guys, that was it for the Lippy Sticks collection. So let me know what you think. What are your favorite colors and what are you going to be picking up? Next, we're going to jump right into the Blitz collection, which has all of the new Super Shock shadows in it. So we're going to go ahead and start applying these on our lids and see what we think. So here's the first shadow, and it is called Valley Girl. I'm just going to go ahead and pop this on. I'm using my finger because a lot of times the super shock go on a little bit better with the finger. So again there is Valley Girl. Just a really pretty light frosty shade with this yellow gold reflex in it. Here's the next shade and it is called Thirsty Girl. And this looks absolutely gorgeous. Can't wait to see this on the lid. Again, not intentionally flipping anyone off, but you guys know I say it all the time. The middle finger is just my doing finger. I get things done with this finger. It's just the finger I go to use and then I'm like, crap, it looks like I'm flipping them off. Oh my gosh. Oh, yes. I actually might need a smaller finger because I have my talons on. This is really difficult. Oh my gosh, this shadow is so perfect for any holiday parties, school parties, work functions, just, you know, going out. But if you want like a no fuss glittery shadow, or glittery smoky eye, you know what I mean? Just a little pop this little bad boy on all over the lid and then just blend him out with a dry brush and I bet it'll be a quite the little sophisticated sexy little holiday smoky eye. You could just have this little shadow right in your little purse, take it to school, take it to work, take it to wherever you're going, real quick, pop it on the lid, and then you're done. You're ready for the party. The next shade is called Fangirl. These are getting a little bit darker, so I'm gonna keep using my Sigma brush. This is the E58 cream color brush. Ooh. And again, here is Fangirl. It's a beautiful purple. If you love these attention-getting eyeshadows, maybe just to wear as, you know, your all-over color on your shadow and then do a nude lip, it's just very striking. And I think it would be very fun at, like, a night out, a club situation, you know, with the lights reflecting. It'll look real fresh. The next shade is called Party Girl. And it looks like a really beautiful matte shade. <gasps> I'm already in love. Oh, my gosh. This is so beautiful. It's, like, so bright. Like, it just looks like such a pretty lid shade, doesn't it? It makes your eyes look so bright and awake and open. Oh, and I love that you can just kind of blend it effortlessly into the brow bone and into the crease, and it doesn't matter. Oh, this is, like, going to be a go-to for me. Isn't that beautiful? What do you guys think? I absolutely, absolutely love Party Girl. I think this is so, so pretty. Like, this would just be, like, even what I'm wearing right now would just be cute makeup with a little bit of mascara or even a pair of lashes. Even for, like, Valentine's Day, because there's a little, you know, hint of pink in there if you couldn't wear a lot on your eyes for whatever reason, if your work doesn't allow it or you just don't feel like it. It's really cute. Okay, so now it's time for the most exciting shade of the collection because it's called That Girl. And my channel is That Girl Shea XO. And no, this shadow has nothing to do with me. I'm just going to claim it and act like it does and just pretend. And this is the shade here. Ah, oh, get off my face! Wouldn't it be so cool if we could just take eyeshadows and just like... And like be done with it? Oh my gosh, of course. This is the most amazing shadow in the whole collection. Of course you would be. <laughs> I'm just kidding, but no, really, it's so gorgeous. Look at this. Look at this, it's so interesting. It's like this crazy metallic, somewhat seafoam green, but something like a dingy about it. It's, it reminds me a lot of, um, I mean, not that the colors like it or anything at all, but it reminds me a lot of Utopia from Makeup Geek, just in the sense of you're like, you can't get a grasp of what color it is but it's still just like such an amazing eyeshadow. The last shade is called Rocker Girl, and it does look like a Rocker Girl shadow. It's this awesome black, but with this rainbow glitter in there, so I hope you guys are gonna be able to pick up on it. It's just like amazing. And now let's do a little edgy blendy. I don't know if it'll work much because I kind of hate this brush. It's like a really generic blending brush and it's really dry and it hurts and it's really rough. But anyway, 
Besides my god-awful application job, I really love this eyeshadow! What do you guys think? Can you tell? Can you see the sparkle? I think this is so beautiful. Oh my gosh, if you were wearing this out, it would just look so stunning. Can you guys believe we're on the last collection already? So this is the Fancy Cream Gel Color Liner Collection again. So as I was saying, in this collection you have the three pencils and the three liners. First I'm going to start with Bustier. This looks like a beautiful olive green. This is gorgeous. This is such a deep, hardly noticeable green, but it's definitely a green in the forest olivey family, and it's just something that looks really great. The next shade is called Soiree, and this, I don't even know what to say this color is, so I'm really excited. I know it's clearly a green of some sort, but it looks like there's that gold in there, like a gold reflex. Please excuse my really uneven job on this side. It's a lot like this one, it just has a metallic finish, so it's going to be an accent um, eyeliner. And the last shade of the gel colors is called Polar, and it is amazing. I don't know what it's going to look like on the actual lids yet, but holy crap. It looks like it could be a black with a purple and gold reflex type stitch. Okay, so I think this just became my favorite gel liner in the entire world. Do you guys see the sparkle? And now we're gonna finish with the pencil liners, you guys. This is Frill, Bustier, and Soiree. First, I'm gonna start with Bustier. This is what it looks like here. And that just basically matches the gel liner exactly. Next is the shade Frill. Oh, that's really pretty. It kind of matches my nail polish. <laughs> and then Soiree, last of all. That one I love. That went on so smoothly and it made a really like smoky under eye line, I think. I really love it. All right, fam, and that was it for the holiday collection from ColourPop Cosmetics. So let me know which set is your favorite, which one are you guys gonna be picking up? What do you have to have? What can you live without? I want to hear it all. It has been a delight to swatch all these products for you guys. I look forward to talking to you in the comments, so let me know what you like. Bye.